My name is uh, Tommy. Uh, thank you for having me here today. So, yes, uh, I'm from my store, I stand. We are, our office is based in Pucho. Uh, we have, uh, we all currently operate uh, three warehouses. Uh, one in Pucho, one in Klang, and uh, one in uh, Singapore. So, this is uh, just a brief overview. So, to sell online, of course, you have to have your own website, marketplace. There are many around here. Then you have the payment gateways, uh, MoPay, IPAA. Um, after you start selling the final component part, which is uh, very important, um, is the fulfillment or the logistic part of it. Because it's the only part where it's where uh, the physical part of what you do online, everything else is virt uh, virtual. This is the only part where it's physical. Okay, so this is just a brief uh, flow sheet of how what you do, you get your orders, you check your orders, you check your inventory, you do a QC check, you go and pick a pack correctly, uh, write or print out your airway bill, and then you the package, stick it on your parcel, or ship it out, update the tracking number. Uh, the process is pretty long. Uh, certain marketplaces will require you up to 14 steps upon getting one order in. Complete 14 steps to show that your item has been shipped out. I'm not here to uh, teach you how to sell. I think you guys do a better job than me with that. So, you know, as your volume increases, you know, you're fulfilling 10, 20, 30, or 50, 100 orders a day. And yes, it's possible. We do have merchants that are selling at uh, two, 300 orders a day, up to 500 orders a day. There are merchants that reach 1,000 orders a day. All right, so, of course, you can't really write on the consignment anymore. Uh, most uh, courier companies uh, have an online feature where you can print your consignment note, but not every courier company has that. Okay, so this is when you start to scale, right? You have five orders a day, you can do it yourself. You have ten orders a day, you can do it yourself. Right, but as it grows, the problems occur. What kind of problems? Mainly, uh, you know, you ship the wrong item to your customer, right? You ship it to the wrong address. Um, shipping to the wrong address might not be your fault. It could be the courier company swap the airway bill or the consignment note. It happens. We faced it many times. So we came up with a solution to actually write the address on the parcel itself. Right. Then you have your missing stock inventory. Uh, your inventory doesn't tally with what uh, your system says. Um, and then you have staff problem. As you grow, I think and I, I strongly believe that you all will be hiring someone to help assist your orders, right? So that's where staff problem with HR issues happens. And all this results in uh, late delivery, customer complaints, so on and so forth, where you don't have the time to handle the back end, right? Your aim is to concentrate on growing your business. Okay. So there are some solutions that you can do, all right? Get a WMS. There are some a warehouse management system, there are some basic WMS that functions. Uh, range between a few thousand ringgit one off or uh, maybe a few hundred ringgit or a hundred or two hundred US dollars a month. Right? And that can help you manage up to a certain amount of uh, SKU, SKU count. Um, then, of course, higher and higher, get a better workforce, uh, better security. Okay, security is a very important issue if you are dealing with uh, high value items. Uh, for example, if you're selling electronics, 3Cs, uh, things go missing. They, they, they really tend to go missing. So you have to put a, a security in place where every, all the stock is accountable for. So like, for example, if you're selling handphones, right, one key feature uh, you have to the concern is your IMA codes. Right? You don't want, I mean, there are cases where if you don't take into account your IMA codes, you actually get back phones that, um, that, that, that you didn't sell. Right. And for past growth, especially like uh, the past, just the uh, last few days, the 11 11, how many of you all part, well, participated in the event? So you have to forecast the amount of sales and so uh, make sure that there's no out of stock or you don't you know, disappoint your customers. Because usually, uh, if you disappoint, and when you disappoint your customers, uh, for them to be recurring is pretty tough. So your customer acquisition cost goes up. Right? Or yeah, you can just use e-fulfillment. So 
what do we do? We do e fulfillment, right? We have been around since 2009. We are the first uh, B2C logistics oriented company in Malaysia. So, how does it work? Uh, stock is actually placed uh, in our warehouse and we help clients to manage their stock. Um, not only the inventory, but the QC, inbound, all right? So we have a system called Odin, where you can check all your stakeholder statuses. And Odin is uh, uh, integrated with uh, most of the marketplaces out there. So the orders come in directly live. Uh, the inventory count is also pushed back. And we update the uh, tracking numbers and everything on your behalf. So when the order comes in, we pick, pack, and ship it up. So the whole pick, pack, and ship process is paperless, and it's uh, system guided. Oh, we'll talk more on the next few slides. Huh? So, Odin is a system where you, um, we just upgraded this. So Odin is a system where we design for uh, merchants or online sellers to check your overall sales performance across various channels. Right, you're not going to sell on your own website now, you're selling on what we call multi-channel, omni-channel. Some of them even sell offline, link out to their stores. So you want to track the sales across all channels. Right? And you want to know the statuses of each order, right? You want to know whether it's being processed, or whether it's out of stock, or whether it has been shipped out, or whether it has been delivered. So everything is here. And other things you check is, that, for example, your customer service. Somebody calls up, you know, what are you going to do? If you, first of all, now most people would know which website do you buy from, and uh, can I have your order ID? They only check what's wrong with it. So there's no real consolidation of all the uh, orders in one center. Right. So Odin does that. Okay, so for our processing is a bit different from most people. Uh, we employ a pick to buy system where it's paperless. Uh, meaning when now you process something, you have to print a piece of paper. And you take the paper and you go and take the items and then you pack and then you print out every bill and then you ship it out. That's what the current flow is, right? So we don't print the paper um, because we run the warehouse part. We run what we call a shared warehouse concept. So everyone is actually placed in the same warehouse. So our system is able to identify and process orders without paper using the system. Pick and pack. So we use a pick to like system. So everything is barcoded and scanned. All right. This is to account for every single item and also for security issues. Uh, this is a, based on my own clients. Uh, it happened to them before. So, okay, imagine this. Uh, your worker knows that you're selling on, uh, let's say, 11th Street. Right? So what they do is somebody else will buy from your store in 11th Street and maybe two items. And then in the morning, you will print out all your orders from 11th Street first, a big list. Pass it on to your staff, right? Your staff knows that the friend bought something. So you keep a lookout for the name of the, staff, of, the, of, 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 the, of the buyer and put in a few more things and ship it out. You wouldn't know. You're not gonna check every single parcel before it goes out. All right, if it's five, you still can check. If it's 10, you still can check. 15, 20, 50. It's impossible for you to check, and you wouldn't know your stock until you do a stock count, unless you do it on a daily basis. And that takes a lot of effort and time. So we use a picture system where they do not know the order is from who and to who. They just process. This is uh, how we design it, security-wise. We engage almost everyone, almost. Right? Okay. So we will decide which career company for your use. And it labels you do not need to go and call out wait for the customer service so on and so forth. So this is just some snapshots of what we have in uh, uh, Puchong. Um, also in uh, Klang, oh, now it's filled up already. Uh, this is the given, we just set it up. So that's around uh, 50,000 square feet. Um, we engage a lot of shelves, all right? So to run a proper inventory or stocking of your own items, even in your own office, you have to have shelves. Because you're dealing in small size items. So if you don't have shelves, you can't manage your stock. Right? And we have four stories of this. Okay? It's a bit different the way we run it. So we handle items as small as a keychain or even a, a what, earring or two. Chairs, tables, TV. Okay. 
I personally think most important part is what we call uh, I mean the fancy term now, big data analysis, right? Okay. So now you have all the information. How many of you actually take the effort to tweak and look at the data that you all got across the multi channel? This is where we do for our clients. Like we monitor and we generate reports for them where they know how much orders they're selling a day. Yes, orders is important. Another thing is item per order, which is as important. Because as your basket size increase, which we notice in, Sing in, in Singapore, one person can buy up to 29 different kind of items. Right? That reduces your logistic cost per item. You are, that's why when you see online, people always push, you buy 75 ringgit and above, you get free delivery. You buy more, you get free, you get cheap delivery or free. It's because the logistic cost per item reduces. Right? So you have to encourage and monitor how to get it to a high item count per order. Right? And the reporting part where things like the SKU movement. Right? So you come in a hundred items, as in a hundred of this particular skill. I assume all of you know what is a skill, right? SKU? Yeah. Uh, okay. So you come in a hundred, how do you monitor the hundred? Right? Let's say you sold 99 and you're supposed to have one more left and you float up and down, you don't see that one, all right? Or you don't believe. So you, have, you also want to know this 99, who bought it, all the information. It's actually there if you all you're, you're want to, but you have to manage it, uh, right? So look at that, because very important, you, you will notice that certain things move uh, by via certain platforms. Like if you sell a platform A, your this product moves better than selling on platform B and platform B actually push other products which are better. So this kind of report across different channels are also important. You have to know what sells better on which platform. And also another thing is you have to know the actual demand versus uh, generated demand. Uh. Now when you sell on platforms, most of the platforms help you to do promotion, subsidize. That is not actual demand, it's generated. So you also need to forecast that, okay? Um, the other thing is, because uh, we all want to, we want to make our dollar work harder. I mean, you can only buy X amount of stock. So we have this in our client in, in Singapore. So they sell, they sell uh, diapers, right? So diapers, they come in uh, S, N, L, X, L, right? So uh, traditionally, what you do is you come in 100S, 100M, 100L, 100XL, right, 100 each. And then when you sold, then you pop up back to 100, right? So there's no proper, well, that's how it works, generally speaking, right? But we notice the highest or the fastest moving size, uh, for anyone can guess, uh, what's, what, what, what size do you think sells the most uh, for Singaporeans uh, or babies? Uh? For their diapers, M, M, S, S. Oh, no, they're not that small. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, the biggest and fastest moving is XL. All right. The slowest moving is S. And you guess what's the difference between S and XL? Price. No, no. I mean, what's what's the difference in, in movement? No, no, no. I mean, what's the difference? Like, how how many S goes up and how many L goes up? What's the difference? What do you think? No, it's one to ten. All right. So they sell ten XL for each S. So if you employ the traditional way of managing your stock, you will always top up to a hundred, a hundred S, a hundred M, a hundred L, a hundred XL, and you are not making your dollar work hard enough. Because you can only buy this amount of stock. You can't buy more. Okay, unless you want to have a bigger inventory risk. So based on this record. I mean, we suggested to the client to replenish XL up to 300, 400, and keep S at 50 and below, all right? So then how you manage your dollar, your, your, your pool, and that's important to manage your inventory. You want them to work harder. I mean, your money to work harder, right? So this is very important. That's why all this information is 
you have to look at it, whether or not uh, it's wireless, but look at your information. This can help you to uh, better manage your, your, your inventory level. Okay. Then you have the uh, out of stock. It's very, very important. So you sold out already. What do you do? One of the reasons why uh, Groupon was so successful a few years ago was because they, well, they take what we call an aggressive uh, customer service. Right? So when they know it's out of stock, they immediately contact the customer and tell them, I'm sorry, it's out of stock, would you like to change a different color? All right. Or I'm sorry, it's out of stock, can you wait for two weeks? Or would you like a refund? Right. If you don't, don't wait until people complain out of stock, they only say, oh, okay, yeah, it's out of stock, do you want to change it? This, this, this is different. The, 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 the consumer or customer mentality is very different. So you need to monitor your out of stock every day. You need to see whether what is what customers are waiting for the stock, what's what, what are they pending down to order level or item level. So if a customer bought five items, all right, and one of the items is out of stock. So you still have to call up and say, I'm sorry, uh, out of the five items we have four. Would you like me to refund the one or wait or should we split the two orders and ship it out? Alright. So this 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 is customer service. So to improve your overall inventory management, customer service, you need the data. Yeah, that's why the fancy term are big data. So I mean some of the clients we serve are uh, coupon, I buy account, known as and so online. We are integrated with uh, Lazada, Q10, 11th Street. The rest on the way. Uh, so we also integrated with uh, Site Giant, Web Shipper, uh, Easy Store. So this this is to help uh, manage uh, order live. We don't do batch processing. So order comes in at 11, we process it at 11.05, and then we shoot it out already. And we'll bounce by the tracking number. So that's how we do it, to make sure that it's seamless. Um, my clients used to do it on a batch basis. In the morning, 10 o'clock, print out all the consignment note of picking this, and then process it. And then they check out the clock, wait one more time, two o'clock, wait one more time. Life is much better. It's a flow, right? So we have them consolidate. Um, let's say if we do it, not say real life, but uh, staggered hours. So if somebody bought, if your client bought the same order, uh, the, 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 the client bought two different shipments within half an hour, we'll automatically consolidate and ship it out. So you can save on the shipping fee as well. So overall, we, I mean, most orders that come in by 12 or 1 o'clock on the same day, we'll process and ship it out already. Yeah. Some, most of the time, actually, orders that came in by 2 o'clock, we also ship off the same day. All right. So, yeah. So we have access for you holding, where you can check, as I just said. Uh, we, it's a shared warehouse concept, so it's a, you, so we don't segregate the space out for you. So, your, uh, I, I assume some of you have seen uh, Amazon's warehouse video, or fulfillment video before. So we run something similar like that. Of course, a uh, local version are uh, a bit different, uh, but it's a shared warehouse concept. So we don't really, we have clients who have one order a week uh, to have be fun or order a day. We still serve them with the same efficiency. Uh, and now, uh, yeah, integration, it's very important now. Yeah, so visit us at uh, iStockRSN.com. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, just a snapshot of our, our, one of our warehouses. That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, you have to ask your questions to us. So, okay, now we open to the floor for Q&A sessions. Anyone have any questions? Just raise your hand. Yeah. We are already handling furniture. So they come in uh, 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 like IKEA style, not built already. But uh, shipping, you see chairs, gaming chairs, chairs, uh, desk. So we are already processing for them. Yeah, uh, directly from China or from the supplier, no problem. We'll do the QC and check for you. Anything that's not tally will report to you. You said the delivery, I could do the assembly? 
Uh, no, we don't do a sampling. So how the technician screen is going to dispose and tell us yes. Uh, no, it's end consumer, cons the sellers already know that they have to assemble themselves. The sellers? Yeah, I mean, they already notify customers that they so have to do the delivery. We do the whole warehousing processing up to the delivery. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, just to answer like the stories, uh, uh, we have a client that bought 100 pairs of, sh uh, no, 50 pairs of baby shoes, all right, come from China. And when it arrived in the warehouse, we received 50 pairs. But it's 50 pairs of left. <laughs> all right. So we have to identify that it's 50 pairs left. All right. So, so in receiving stock is also a problem if, if you are taking to be honest, our majority supply comes from China, so it probably called the imbalance. It's not exactly what you ordered, now. All right. So we have to take that into account. We have you do your check and your QC as well. Yep. Okay. Next questions. Yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, what about loss of uh, goods pilferage? Uh, yeah, we are responsible for that. Uh, different clients have a uh, different uh, a range of uh, pilferage coverage. We have clients that handle, uh, we handle the, uh, what we call 3C products. We have clients that also deal in uh, clothing. So their compensation and uh, 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 insurance is different. But to answer your question, yes, we cover. So it's from what point to what point? Because uh, the delivery uh, okay. part. The delivery part is also covered. Uh, so we work on your behalf with the courier company if anything happens. So we will follow up with the claims. Uh. So that was like saying that uh, your charger is based on the range, right? Uh, for delivery and processing, it's based on both weight and size. Uh. Yes, and based on what category. Uh, to give you a rough estimate, just to process a small size items will cost you one ringgit fifty to two three ringgit. Uh. It's not a huge amount. Uh. I wish I could charge ten ringgit for one item. Okay. Yeah. So the, the 1 ringgit 50 and 2 is uh, any like duration? Any? Uh, no, we, unless clients are looking for a major discount, you, we, we run on the pay per use. So there is no minimum contract. Uh, but most of the clients, once they started, they only do more, they don't really take power. Alright, any other questions? If not, then we'll move to the second speaker. So thank you so much, Tony, for your...